Hi guys, welcome back to my channel where I share with you everything that I'm a fan of, but today I want to do my update on the completion of my 21 day fix. The meal plan, the exercise, and the shakeology. I completed all of them. The meal plan started out hardcore the first week, kind of shaky the second week, and then kind of fizzled the third week. I'm not gonna lie, I got really, really tired, not from just, you know, doing all the exercise every day, but just because I wasn't sleeping, because I have a lot going on, I'm, I've been staying up late, I was so exhausted, and I was constantly having to go grocery shopping, and even after I went and bought a lot of things in bulk, it didn't really help because I couldn't eat everything fast enough, actually myself and my family couldn't eat everything fast enough. That part for me was a challenge. I think when my life has a little less event fullness going on, it will definitely be easier for me to do this again in the future. The very last day of the fix was Mother's Day and I totally believe in treating yourself for holidays so I didn't worry about anything as far as meal planning was going. The exercise, I'm so proud of myself. I did it every single day, every morning. The Shakeology already said yes, I kept up with that. I did that after every single workout. I am renewing my Shakeology. It, when you order it, they have it to where they'll send you a pack every month. Um, I probably want to change the flavors a little bit. For some reason the strawberry Shakeology, I don't know if I wasn't blending it well enough, but every time I drank that one it tasted gritty, like all the little powder was still in there, no matter what I blended it with. It was my least favorite. Vanilla was very versatile, I liked that one, and chocolate of course was the best, that one went out fast. So getting right to the nitty gritty about what the whole point of this is, how much weight and inches did I lose? We'll start with inches because that's a little less exciting. Um, especially for me because most everything stayed pretty much the same and I think some things actually went up like a quarter of an inch so I don't know if that's muscle gain but altogether I lost seven pounds so I lost four pounds the first week, two pounds the second week, and one pound the last week. One last thing, would I recommend this to other people now that I've done the program for the first time or and would I do it again? I would definitely recommend it to other people you just really have to be dedicated. I mean, the package is a little pricey. You want to make sure you're using the program. You don't want to spend money on it and not, you know, and kind of just like let it sit there. It's only three weeks if you think about it that way. The workouts are only 30 minutes a day, so it's just like one little block of time in your day. And it helps you out as far as you getting your meals together and, you know, balancing everything. And when you get your meal containers, you might be like me, where I got it and I was like, what the heck is this you expect me to eat? Because the meal containers are going to look smaller than what they look in the picture. And I was like, this is not going to be enough. It's plenty. So if you do it and you get your containers, don't freak out because it's plenty of food. I never felt like I was starving. I think all in all, it was a great investment. Definitely I would recommend it. Definitely I would do it again. And then just going back to my original goals. Um, did I become a meal prep master? I certainly did not, but I did learn a few things. There were some nights where I, um, I cooked more than I needed and then I just had stuff for the next day and that was super helpful. There was one night where I did prep everything the night before and everything was ready to go in my containers and I was also doing it for my girls. So the next day, yeah, that was super easy, but I just didn't have that time every day and every night to do that. And I sing through Hamilton while I clean the house. Yes, I may not be at 100%, um, but yeah, I'm definitely not getting winded. I'm definitely um, not, you know, short of breath when I sing and clean at the same time. Okay, so that concludes my 21 day fix segment. Um, I'm probably not going to do a lot of health and fitness in the future because that's just not the type of person I am, but I did want to share my journey because not only do I want to, you know, answer some questions for some people that might be considering doing this that are like me, um, kind of like, you know, I've never worked out before, I'm a stay-at-home mom, like, is it feasible? I totally think it's something that you could easily do. Um, but also, I felt like by sharing it with you know, YouTube. Just knowing that I was doing the filming of the videos, the, the filming segments of it, helped make me feel a little bit more accountable. So if you watched and if you commented on my Instagram and were encouraging, thank you so much. I really appreciated it. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Like the video if you like it. I mean, if you guys like it, I can do some more. It's just, I don't know how much health and fitness year I can get. Thanks, and I will see you with my next video. Bye, guys. 